be making fondue in a slow cooker. Oh, it's the big head of CRJ letting you know there's been a change of plan. So I just decided to play it safe and just use a bowl and transfer it when I'm done. Let's do this. Last October, I made a fondue video that ended in complete disaster. I was supposed to make fondue without using a fondue pot. Long story short, it didn't work out. So bad if we could do other things, like walk the dog, file my taxes, or conduct wonderful music with a 50-piece orchestra. Refusing to cave into a big fondue pot, I went back to the drawing board. And it led me to this. An induction cooker. How does this give you my patented no fondue pot fondue? Please let me explain. Now I won't go into the science on how induction cookers work, but if you are curious, check out Electro Boom's video. Just a word of warning. Do what he says. Stop. Not as he does. I will say this, if you are going to cook with an induction cooker, make sure you use a pot that is magnetic. Which is bad news for all the grandmas out there who still use their aluminum cooking pots. Anyway, this is a huge improvement from my last design. Because even if it did work out as intended, you were pretty much limited to the stove top. But not with this. If you have a power outlet nearby, you can have fondue anywhere. Now I bought this specific induction cooker the Duck Stop 9600 LS, mainly because of this. It, a keep warm button. I have to point out right now that this was much more expensive than the fondue pot I showed in my last video. But look at it this way. With all that extra money, you're not just limited to cooking fondue. But don't worry, in addition to this cooktop, I will link a more affordable induction cooker in the description below. And if your induction cooker does not have a keep warm button, just put it on its lowest setting. Now let's get to cooking, because me sitting here isn't fondueing anyone any favors. <coughs> Worth it. Anyway, add one cup of white wine. A Sauvignon Blanc would be perfect. Two tablespoons of flour. Whisk the two ingredients together. Let it thicken up over medium heat. Okay, once it thickens up, drop the heat to medium low. Then add half a pound of shredded Swiss cheese. Do a handful at the time, that way we can get a nice smooth cheese sauce. Then once that's mixed in, add half a pound of Gruyere cheese. Once the cheeses are in, add one clove of garlic grated. By the way, I hope they invented Melovision for your internet browser. This is amazing. A quarter teaspoon of salt and a quarter teaspoon of freshly grated nutmeg. and hit the keep warm button. Once your fondue is ready, chop up some French bread and some cooked chicken, or apples, or donuts, or sushi, or any other inside ingredient for your dumbass fondue challenge video. This has been Chase Cutting Kitchen. I'm CRJ, making cooking fun, and meaning at this time. <laughs>